three, two, one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be building a DIY above pond bog filter. Okay guys, so I've got everything you're gonna need for this little project laid out on the table here. We've got a completely watertight plastic planter. We've got a drill. We've got some PVC pipe. We've got two T pieces, one elbow, two tank connectors, some PVC pipe cutters, a hole cutter, some solvent cement, a pond pump, some pond hose, a ball valve and a hose clamp. I've also got a couple of lengths of decking and some other timber which I'm going to be using to clad the filter with. This is going to hopefully help me insulate it and also make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to start by cladding the planter and I'm going to go and do some cuts now so I will see you once that's done. So I've got the first little lot of wood. Uh, as you can see, it just sort of wraps around the planter. So I'm gonna screw all that together now. So it has now all been screwed together. That is now nice and solid. And the planter should just fit in there nicely. So I'm just now gonna go and cut up some decking to go around the rest of it. Okay, so there we go, the decking boards have been cut. As you can see, it just sort of makes the planter look so much better. I have got to screw that together, so I'll do that now. Okay, so I've pretty much screwed this together now, although I have left this back piece loose for now. And that's because the next job is to put the outflows for the filter in, and they will need to be screwed into here. So we're gonna have to cut some holes in here and in the plastic planter. So let's do that next. And there we go, we're all put back together nicely. The holes line up, so that's good. All I need to do now is cut some PVC piping to go in these holes. So uh, I'll do that now. Okay, so that is looking awesome. I'm not gonna glue them in quite yet because I might see if I can get hold of some black PVC to replace these white ones because so I think that might look a bit better but they are fine for now but what we need to do now is work out a way of getting the water to the bottom of this bog filter because we need the water to go to the bottom so it can rise up through the media that we will be putting in here and it can then exit out through these pipes at the front so uh, let's do that now Okay, so what we've got going on here is a way for the water to be pumped to the bottom of the filter. So that will sit in there. Gravel will be put on top of it and the water will enter through the top, through the pond hosing. We'll just use this for demonstration purposes. So the water will be pumped from the pond down the hose and it will go to the bottom of the filter where it will be dispersed through this T-piece and go either way. It will then rise up through the filter and then when it gets to the top, well, when it gets to these bits, it will exit out through these pipes and back into the pond, having been filtered. Also, you may be wondering what this T-piece here is for. That is in case of a power outage. That will stop the water from siphoning back out of the bog filter and into the pond. Something to do with sucking air in or breaking the air or something like that. But I learned that from a YouTube channel called Ozponds, Kev on Ozponds. He always puts one of these on the top of his bog filters. In fact, I've learned basically everything I know about bog filters from Kev at Ozponds. So definitely go and check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. But also whilst I'm doing a little shout out, it's a little shout out for Tobias Hollenstein. I've also been watching a lot of videos of his about filters and ponds and I've learned quite a lot. So definitely helped in the build of this filter. So shout out to them too. I'll link both of their channels in the description below. That being said, we need to test this filter. However, 
it's gone midnight, even the fish tank light's gone off, so I've got to get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Okay guys, so it is now the following day, so let's get this filter set up and running. Okay guys, so we're all set up. I've added this tub into the pond just so I haven't got to fill the entire pond just to test the filter. I've added a few rocks into there just to hold that in place. And uh, I've also added a couple of these elbows to the uh, outlets. Um, I'm gonna see what they look like and see if I decide to, I haven't glued them in place. Everything else is now glued apart from these little elbows. So we'll see what that looks like and make a decision once it's running. Okay guys, so the pump has been added, the water has been added, it's time to test this filter. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Okay guys, so the filter is filling up nicely, everything's looking good, and I will check back in when the water is about to flow back into the pond. Okay guys, so the water level looks like it's about to overflow back into the pond. Let's see, let's see it go. There we go. What about the other one? There we go. That is awesome. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Flowing an absolute treat. That's probably just about the right amount of flow as well. Perfect. As you can see, the pump is Pumping the water at the perfect rate. We've got a fair bit of leeway before that would start to overflow. So that's the perfect size pump, I think. And yeah, that's running perfectly. Okay guys, I think that about brings us to the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. If you've got any questions about the build, drop them in the comment section below. And if you want to see this pond build continue, hit that subscribe button. That being said, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.